Hello and welcome back to Deutschland. As you can see, we are in our grass field here. We are ready with the fent and the drill to get the lentils drilled in. So let's get that started. So we'll get everything unfolded. Now, for now, um, I will probably stick this on a helper. The reason being, it, like on a course play helper, the reason being is we've got a few other things to do around the farm. And we still have the rolling and we will have other things to do in this field. So let's get that started. Um, I'd like to say three because it is quite a large area. We'll do... Um, sharp will only be necessary on a couple of edges. But let's let's do that then. Let's do uh, round. Um, sorry, sharp. Yes, what is it? Sharp, round, or smooth? What's the difference between smooth and round? I reckon. Let's do smooth and see what happens. Right, counter uh, count anti. Yeah, no, we are going clockwise this way. So that's going to go like that, and generate. Looks good to me. Start job. Okay, let's get into uh, third person there and just see. Look at that. How brilliant is that? Lentils are going in. Happy days. Right. So let's get that like that and put away. Now we'll go back in here for just a moment so that we. And, all right, we can't get out. There we go. When there's a helper in, you can't activate uh, interactive control. So, anyways, that does look fantastic. pH is great. We will come in with nitrogen as well. We will need to weed this field also. That's quite a big field, so we'll probably get a helper on for the weeding at least. Unless we spray. I haven't decided yet, but anyways, we also have our spelt field here nearly ready to go. Over here we have some mustard, also nearly ready, but also very perfectly ready to go. It's going to be fantastic harvest time. And here's some rye as well. So we do need to come in, right, we do need to fertilize this field yet. Haven't done that. That might be something we have to do this month. So I'm literally sprinting to the farm so that we can uh, crack on because we have to head over to the shop to buy some straw, which I hate the idea of that. But uh, we've had to do it once already and now we have to do it again. So this grass could also be limed and fertilized, but it's not a priority. We should also check the hay status also, we're, we're pretty good for silage, I'd say. <laughs> These are probably ready. Oh, no, not even close. Third of the way. Yeah. Right, so let's just have a quick look at their food. We will hop into the van here shortly. Drive down to the shop. Okay, so I've put all the hay there, have I? Brilliant. So 57,000 litres, a straw we're completely out, silage we'll have to fill up as well, and uh, mineral feed is at 333, three, three. so we'll have to get some of that as well. We will be able to use uh, that very soon. What? Mm, when the rye is ready, we can turn that into mineral feed, so that's really good. Actually, let's have a look. Yeah. Maybe the spelt as well. There's a, a bit of kit that... Anything in the sales here? Nothing we can really benefit from. It might be under animals. And yeah, so it's... Uh, it might be more American versus... But I mean, really, it does the same thing. And I don't know if there is another. But basically what it does, it turns into uh, mineral feed. It turns grain into mineral feed, which is very handy um, yeah these are definitely definitely more the American style of all these brands uh, but it doesn't mean we can't import something like that so yeah no spelt unfortunately but we can do oh no rye either oh no there must be another way 
There must be another way. Hmm. Well, I'll have to look into another way, because that would be fantastic if we could. I guess in the meantime, then, we'll just have to hop into the uh, van, head down to the shop, and at least buy some straw and also, unfortunately, uh, some mineral feed as well. Yeah, once we'll get loads of straw, fret not, but uh, it's just the mineral feed. I'd like to make our own. Anyways, we will see you at the shop. And here we are at the shop. Let's get all lined up as we tend to do. Probably won't get a load of the loading on camera, but at the very least we can buy what we need. Now, whoa, right. I just need... There's so many, str I just need s very simple hay really but if there's anything cheaper I don't think it is any cheaper it's more expensive this might all be grass anyways oh no that's hay that's straw oh, these are straw yeah that's the same same bloody price I thought maybe they'd give us a bargain get baby straw yeah, 14, it's 180, wait, so how much would that one be? 7,000, 1420, 9,000 for 12, yeah, get, what, why would I, why? And yeah, we'll get two of them for now again, just in case. As I said before, we can always get more, but all right, and maybe two pallets of mineral feed. I think I only got the one last time. So that is good. And as per usual, we will uh, get it all loaded. I know that we've got the two uh, forklifts now. We could load into the van just the mineral feed, but it, it actually does fit on the trailer. Uh, together with the bales, so that's really good. I'm glad I can do that At the very least Actually, no, I, I suppose it doesn't hurt to show all this as well the loading process It, it can be quite good. It can also be very bad Just don't want to hit those pallets uh, You know what even just to make it even better. I'm gonna just go around. Oh, I've already hit it Well might as well stick to it. Okay, yeah, because right now that working camera is not really working. I mean, it's working, but it, what is it? What is it doing? You know? Yeah. So before I said something about how you know doing it with. Uh, doing the loading like this on camera and that is quite good you know it's, it can be quite good but this has been rubbish so far sorry about that <laughs> but it has been right, that work camera is pretty cool though I will admit I just want to get this level oh I, I suppose it's not that bad. It is still low. It's not like we're having any, you know, sticky bale issues like I've had in the past. I can't really tell. Oh, I've definitely gone over. There we go. Oh no, I've gone under. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything about how it was going well. What a terrible, terrible mistake that was. What terrible what is going on they're gonna kick me out again they're gonna have someone come around and say listen mate you can't load pallets and you're just not allowed you're just not allowed oh yeah someone's coming now all right okay sorry mate sorry mate all right here we are back at the farm 
We didn't get too much trouble there or anything, so that's good. At the shop. They just reckon they should just load it themselves, so that worked out. Um, I think I'm getting close yet. There we go. I can see this unloading. And then we'll take the straw as well and get that sorted. Yeah, we'll just do a bit of a spin round here. Wicked. Okay. See, I've got the two straw bales on, and they will go into there. So we actually might just have to uh, unload them. So that's fine. Let's put this here for now. Might as well just shut the engine as well. Get that. Let's put there. Now, where has my... There we go. Scorpion. Unfortunately, no doors to open on this one. And connect to this. Whoops. My boom down or something. Seemed weird. It's like I hit it pre prematurely. Shouldn't have to faff with the hoses at least. That's just for the hydraulics themselves, but in this instance, we should be fine. Excellent, nice and easy. And get those let go there. Perfect. So I think I might actually leave this here again. Hmm. Yeah, I reckon we'll probably end up, we'll probably end up with more, oh, why have they gone funny? Oh no, oh my, okay. Is everything alright? What's happened there? Oh wow, that's what's happened. I have attached, was that like that the whole, the whole time? Why is that even a feature? Why? <laughs> why? Why is that a feature on there? That's so silly. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Well, um, we'll get that sorted right now, actually. Yeah, what a mess with these, uh, this... The C, what is it, the CSZ pack or something is a right menace. Now watch, we're going to do some crazy flipping or something. Nope, that's fine. So that, we did, <laughs> I don't know how what happened there or how that happened, but that was quite funny. Didn't even notice that the bloody forks were on it. I suppose that's my fault for not checking. Anyways, I was going to put those away and uh, get some silage sorted as well. I would like to drive down and see how the helper is getting on. Would be nice to see. Might take the van down though. Just put this over here. Get it ready for scooping. I wonder if I should get a trailer. Oh, where is my bucket? Ah, oh, I know where it is gonna need a washing we were loading muck with it before that's where it is ah oh, you know speaking of muck we should really get them cleaned out I reckon you anything that they are full so I might as well just get this cleared as much as I can and put it in the spreader What's the difference it's sitting outside versus sitting outside in a trailer? I'll just get this big section here. Yeah, I'm going to have to go in and do that as well. Yeah, so it's good that we've got helpers for all things. Uh, and the rolling, I reckon. That whole field might just be tended to just by helpers at this point. We just have, have too much on at the farm. 
Okay, I think that's fine. So we'll get that loaded into the spreader and then we'll get the uh, bucket washed and we'll get muck pushed out. If you haven't seen it, it is quite cool how it's done. Okay, what's going on here? It seems like we're caught. Is it just that heavy? I think it's just that heavy. There we go, all emptied out. Now we can get it washed and get some silage moved as well. Right, where did we put... It's just over here, I believe. I should probably give the uh, all the kit a bit of a, a once-over washing. We are approaching um, harvest season, though, for all, all of our other fields. So I might just wait till the autumn to get to get that sorted. Right, I haven't seen any disruptions in terms of in uh, in terms of the helper anyways, so I think we're doing fine. But yeah, we'll just give this a proper wash in. Uh, the cows shall be fine. They had loads of food anyways, but I wanted to get as much of that uh, uh, straw in as I could do. Right, brilliant. Okay, that's all done. We need to put this back. Now we'll go... Well, we'll just put this actually over by the silage. We'll come back, get the van, go and check. I suppose we could just go check now. We're on the move, might as well. Get that beacon on though, for safety of course. Oh wow, you can see from here actually. They're getting on. Oh, it's going to be a climb up this hill again. Hmm. Oh, oh well. <laughs> I always underestimate how far. I keep thinking it's this field, but um, but yeah, that one's all. That one's looking very good. They're all looking really good. We do have to fertilize the one and then this one as well. But blimey, look at that! Hey, it's done that again. That's the same bloody thing it did on ah oh no that's the same thing that it did with the mowing so I don't understand why but well nothing I can do to change that now so it, it you know what I think it's this field I think it is 100% because it was this field as well that gave this the same issue that I've never had before. Is it is it dragging? Is it the... No, it's just the width is off. Hmm. Well, that's a shame because I, I... Yeah, it's... So I, th I thought it was initially that I had put it the wrong width. But this one is exactly that width, 6 meters. And I've never had an issue with it. But the only common denominator is in fact the field itself so I'm gonna chalk it down to that because um, yeah it doesn't seem to like to do the whole thing it leaves little strips that's very weird well I'm glad we checked at least uh, now we'll head back up to the bunker and we'll get some slurry shifted hmm should I use a trailer or should I just uh should I just go bucket by bucket? It might be easier actually to do bucket by bucket. Because we are doing like 4,000 litres at a time. And I think our trailer is uh, 18,000 litre capacity. Oh, come on. You can do it. Don't go below 15. Come on. Come on. Yeah. The power of the class, eh? They've got quite a nice class uh, collection, actually, of kit. Because it's a brand I've never really used much before, and I've said that. I've used the Dominator and that, but <clears throat> in terms of newer kit, I suppose. Like this Telehandler, for example. Right. Silage. Wow. 4244. Four, four. That's a lot of silage.
Do you think this is quicker? It must be for how close we are. It doesn't really make sense to load a full trailer for this. Do you know what I mean? Because we are just coming right here to do this. But it could be. But it might not be. Anyways, what I think would be a good thing to do while we do this, even if I'm not putting it into a trailer, is to put it into a uh, cheeky time lapse. Because in that way, just with if we're driving, um, I can even just keep it in first person, which I think would look really good in the time lapse doing loading and unloading. Uh, since there's not a lot of camera movement like that, um, we can do it uh, in a nice smooth time lapse. Alright, here we are. So we'll do this as our final bucket for now. I kind of lost track of how much that was. It might be 25,000. I don't even know how much was in there before. But now there is 45,000. I think there was about 20. See, I was about 25,000. So that's alright. Not too bad at all. Let's go and tuck this back over here. I do see that the drill is done yeah we'll just put it here for now because we might end up doing more i did finally hit the bales i wasn't trying to obviously but unfortunately i uh i did manage to do that um as far as the helper goes i know that they're not done done we have to go back and fix it up ourselves so we'll go and do that so we'll just mosey over there and we'll see in a second and of course it would be at the farthest side of the field possible literally couldn't be further away um all right let's <laughs> let's get it fired up let's get that door shut but i would like to have a bit of a third person view yeah what an absolute mess so i did put it on smooth and maybe that's part of the problem definitely not why it did all these terrible lines but uh, yes, that, that would explain why this part has happened, which I completely understand. So as far as getting it all done, um, that's what I'll have to do. Obviously, I'm going to be doing some, something like this off camera, uh, but I'm going to try and do it. I'm going to try and do as much as I can run the, the outskirts first and then run back to the farm, get uh, well, actually, you know what, with how quickly that went, because that was relatively rapid, I don't think I'm too worried about uh, getting a helper in to roll straight away. So I think I will. I'll do that now. I will just off camera very quickly. I'll get these, um, these missed bits dealt with. It's just frustrating. I don't know, but I have, yeah, it's definitely the field. It, it's absolutely the field itself. So I don't know how that's happened, but if anyone can shed some insight on that would be brilliant. Right, as I say, I will get these misbits sorted. We'll see you when it's done. Alright, here we are just arriving back at the farm. Now, I kind of want to get this out of the way. Actually, I'll give it a quick wash as well. I'm going to wash some kit because... Oops, what have I done? What have I done? There we go dirty wheels there uh, I just will show you why I'm all excited is because this field now that we have lentils in does not require any rolling which is very good that saves us a job and as I was in here doing the tidying of the drilling I noticed that I was slipping a lot the drill was just sort of I suppose like being like what so gravity essentially <laughs> was pulling it down the hill and I think that's why there were so many miss bits because and it, it actually was better than the mowing much better much less miss bits than with the mowing setup we had but nevertheless it, uh, it yeah still missed some bits but it's that's why it's just because the hill it's it's a big hill 
<laughs> so, anyways, I just want to move this out of the way. It's so in the way. Especially since I intend on um, washing other kit as well, not just the fent and drill. But now the van's all clean, so that's very good. So I'll just go to our usual spot here. Oh, bloody hell. I think I must have hit nothing. Oh, see, I've hit nothing. It's fine. We are all good. Let's get out. Close the door. No damages as I can see, so that's good. Head back over to the vent. And resume cleaning. Oh no, close the door first. That would not be good. That was close. I suppose within reason, but... Yeah, anyway, so now we can see the, all the uh, the fields that we have. And we've got four fields that are growing. Uh, very exciting indeed. And a, a grass field here. We should really consider going out into... Uh, is it 11? We have to check which one requires. Well, what are they missing? Why are these so terrible, these scores? Nitrogen. Is that the one that's missing it? That one's got no nitrogen, it says. Partly some nitrogen. What? Do not understand. Ah, so currently 2%. Okay, I've never noticed that. That's cool. All right, well, nitrogen. Let's sort it then. Let's sort it. That must be across all the fields. So, yeah, we'll get that sorted in 15 and... I can't remember the other ones, but I'll check. And, uh, yeah, as we'll get that done. Anything in the sale again? I've just checked, haven't I? So bad for that. So bad for checking the sale all the time. Secondhand options. It's very good to have. Very good option. Make a bit of money sometimes as well, if you know what you're doing. Right, so there we go. Nearly cleaned. But now we have no drilling left to do until the next harvest, really. So that is squared up and can hop back in and not turn the engine off but rather drive away <laughs> so we'll just <laughs> we'll just get this tucked in here yeah right there should be fine what is that what is that is that a cultivator that we've never used it is I don't I don't think we would need that for any reason Perhaps we should sell it. I suppose to do a, um, a seed bed, to give yourself a nice seed bed. Let's have a check of what it is. Yeah, it is a cultivator. Had it. We haven't used it once. Yeah, we should probably just sell it. Right, well, why don't we get it out with the styre? Right, so we're going to do... Right, what I'm going to do then is in a bit of a time lapse. It makes sense to do this in a bit of a time lapse just the all the shifting and everything but I'm gonna tidy up the farm because I know I wanted to do that in the first place now this is probably dirty it is so we'll go give that a wash so we'll do we'll do some washing some shifting and uh, some general yard tidy There we go. Got a baler in now, got all this other kit. 
might rearrange this side a bit it looks a bit like I could put that more at the back and then that more there but yeah it seems like there's more room than before for some reason uh, yeah I'll get this in as well I think I might put this behind the drill um, just because it makes more sense to have the drill out in front and I'll put this behind um, the mixer is fine there as well that would be good to be able to put somewhere else but it seems that's the best place for it um, yeah cool well that's that's not too bad then at least we've got some stuff clean uh, I have the cultivator loaded over there I do have to get there the spreader there but yeah cultivator is over there ready to go this may also be sold because uh, it didn't really do much for me another thing I need to check on is the weeds because this is going to be buried and I don't really want it to be behind the baler uh, if we need it straight away so we can check that no nope, nothing needs weeding just yet this might need but uh, for now that's fine so we'll just do that beauty absolutely beautiful so I'll just shift this out of the way and uh, yeah then I think we're good for May I mean now that we don't have to get things rolled the next thing we'll have to do is spread some stuff and that's absolutely fine although I don't know where my spread has gone I s mm, yeah unless I don't have it I do I don't want to show on the map just in case it's obvious is it still attached to the tractor here it might be yeah it is okay brilliant well then it's all ready to go just needs a, uh, a cleaning uh, oh yeah all this should be cleaned as well yeah except for the forager we haven't got that out yet haven't been used yet in time eventually for something we do have storage here too hmm should consider storing things over here right okay well let's get this uh, actually now let's get this sorted first so I'll just I'll just clean the rest of this up off camera and then uh, when we start up again uh, we'll get ready to fertilize our fields alright last bit of kit I think that's fine there brilliant so I'll just shut the engine down get that closed um, yeah we'll just undo that just in case we'll need it for something else and there we have it that looks alright that I know that we've got room in here, so that's good to know as well. Um, but what we'll do now is we'll get this tractor all ready to go. And uh, we'll do some fertilizing with it. This is full, so that's really good. Get that fired up. It's a good thing we've got that weight on the front, eh? Now that door stays very open, but there we go, we're all right. We'll give it all a clean, at least from this side. It is nice to use a, a different tractor after all this time of using the Fent. Nothing against the Fent. I love the Fent. It's just, it's our main tractor for a reason. It's our heavy, big, big job tractor, especially when we're doing hilly things. We don't necessarily need a powerful tractor. We just need a tractor that's good with hills. So I might look into more of the hay and forage pack, potentially. But it's just the kit is expensive. And we have quite a big farm set up, you know? Um, but maybe it's not that big. You know, especially if we get a uh, self propelled loading wagon, that would be cool. But we just have that massive hill to contend to, or contend with rather. Hmm, but we shall see. Right, let's, uh, let's get that shut. We will have to check the fields when we get there. But I know for a fact that this one here needs some love and uh, I know a couple others as well the big one also does but that can be kind of at the end just want to see I think the grass field does require some let's have a look and see right it really does and uh, ooh, 
and pH as well. Okay, well, we'll start here. Um, I don't think these ones do. No. Oh, nitrogen is good. Oh, no. No, this one does require. Okay, all tires and tracks were fine here. We're fine here because it's grass, of course. And, uh, yeah, okay. Well, then what we'll do is... Here, let's go into third person. Try and get this going. Come on. Oh. I think we've got narrows on still, but that would be because we were in a field that needed them. And uh, there we go, we are off. So we'll get that turned on, and then that'll give us a really good idea of how how we're doing. I think we'll be able to cover that whole this whole field nearly. That is the beauty of precision farming as well, is that it only takes what it needs. Yeah, it is not greedy. And we can just go down like this. And yeah, we'll just pop into that field as well. This field really did need it, as you can see. It is soaking it all up. Alright, but that is done. And now we'll hop straight into this field. We might as well do. And, because uh, as you can see, it also requires some love. So, We'll do this field, we'll go and check the other ones to see what else needs to be done and we'll get all of our fertilizing done in a nice little time lapse. And there we go, all done. If I'm not mistaken, we got all of the fertilizer that we needed spread. Happy days, happy days indeed. Actually, let's have a cheeky peek at the precision farming map, just to get an idea of how all of our nitrogen is doing. So that's where it needs to be, because they should all be reading perfect uh, at this point. Here, let's just get off the incline. It is a rather wicked one. Stop that right there. Might shut the engine as well. What's going on? Can't actually click that. That's no good. Why not? Oh, it's the angle. Because... <laughs> oh no, that's not good. Anyways, whoop, I've fallen out. Right, let's have a look here and see how it's doing. Perfect, all round perfect. So it is we. It does need weeding. Hopefully we can do the weeding in the next month when they've actually appeared. Because I think now that we're done with this field, we're done with May. Um, that was the big thing for May. The next thing, we just really have to wait for the uh, fields to keep on growing. And then they will be ready to harvest uh, soon enough, but yeah, we uh, definitely got some some stuff done today. We got this field all turned round. Uh, we drilled it, and we didn't have to roll it. Thank goodness, because that would have taken that much longer. Of course, we could have put a helper on, but still, still nice to not have to. And that does end today's episode. So I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have done, a cheeky thumbs up really does help out the channel. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Until the next one. Please do take care and bye for now.